Hi there, I'm Mark. Welcome to the Squirrel's Nest. Let's talk about the Patty Gray Dam molds. I have a 10 inch Patty Gray mold. It's the GM 126 and it's made by um, my friends at Creative Paradise, CPI. Now, this mold is a great mold. It is, gives you good finished edges, um, but you can run into some problems when you're working with it. And one of the things that you can run into problems with is it tends to blow bubbles. And the reason that you're blowing bubbles with it is because you've packed it too tight. So when I look at this, I've got this piece that I started making and I packed it way too tight thinking in terms of a 10 inch ring and I was trying to get it nice and tight because it's vitrograph. And I blew out this bubble. I got a bubble over here and I got a bubble over here. And the reason that I got these bubbles in this is because there is no place for the air to go if everything is packed really tight in the mold and these straight edge walls don't allow for air to escape, okay? So, things to consider. You really wanna spray this the first time really well with zip. Two good coats, paying really good attention into the edges in here. Bottom is, is it's good to have it coated, but you're gonna put fiber paper of some sort, either thin fire or papyrus in the bottom. So, these edges, spray the bottom, and then after you fire it, um, you wanna clean it out with a knife, uh, nylon brush and then respray it. Now when you're putting your pieces in you'll put a piece of papyrus or thin fire on then you put a piece of clear and one of the things with the clear is that you want to make sure it's about a quarter of an inch eighth of an inch somewhere in there so that it has some little wiggle room so it moves around uh, in the mold. That's going to give you some good um, air escape through the edges <clears throat> the other thing to keep in mind is that when you're building on top of it, everything needs to not go any further than the edges of the mold. And if you're using vitrograph, like I did with this piece, you want to remember that you're cutting, you've got a piece of glass at eighth inch thick in here already in the mold. And then if you're cutting vitrograph and you're making it six mil, it's going to be a nine mil bowl. So it's going to flow and it's going to hit those edges. So you want to give it room to be able to have air come out of it. And I don't know if you can see this, but the edges of this, I didn't do anything with them. It is just straight out of the mold. The bottom, uh, the, the part that was in contact with the shelf, I, fire, uh, I uh, sandblasted and fire polished and then slumped in a mold. So these edges are super clean and ready to go. Don't overfill your mold. Give yourself some room. Make sure you put some kind of fiber paper, thin fire papyrus on the bottom. And then you too can enjoy bubbleless products.